Navajo people, a nomadic fishing community, frequented the Similkameen River in the southern part of what is now British Columbia. Little is known of this small community, which is believed to have disappeared in the late 19th century. The survival and livelihood of the Adavo people largely depended on salmon fishing and fur trapping. Waterfowl, particularly duck, are frequently represented and it is probable that these birds were much revered in the society, perhaps even worshipped. There is no evidence that duck or other waterfowl formed part of the diet. Several examples of what appear to be shamanistic objects appear in the collection. It is probable that these objects were brought into use by respected members of the community in healing or birthing ceremonies or in funeral rituals. Many of the items in this collection are still being studied in order to pinpoint their provenance and use. It is hoped that current research methods will unwrap the mysteries surrounding this lost tribal society. Elizabeth Adams, born in 1830 in Vancouver, was the daughter of missionary trader Tainmouth Adams, who worked for the Hudson Bay Company between 1824 and 1844. Elizabeth had a lifelong fascination with the Adavo, which began when, as a young girl, she accompanied her father on his travels. After her father's death, Elizabeth remained in Canada with the Adavo until 1874, when she came to England to settle in the home of English family members in Burnham on Crouch. She never married and died in 1902. It is thought that Elizabeth's original collection of Adavo artefacts was extensive. However, the surviving objects remained undiscovered until recently, when the house finally left family ownership. Yeah.